Hey guys, how's it going today? GriffyBit here, and today we're going to do something a little educational. I'm going to be giving you a guide of how you should spend your post office boxes based on my personal opinion and the opinion from Twitch chat. This is going to be a blurb, it's going to be a mouthful, so just stay with me. So, let's get into it. So I'll be explaining the two situations, early to mid game, which is about 800 post boxes or less, and late game, which is about 800 plus. Let's start with early game. So for early game, you want to start off by leveling up your Civil War box to 200. This is for the reason of base damage, AFK gains, and crit chance. You'll mostly be using this box for fight AFK games. You'll find out late game that AFK gains is practically bad. I would suggest to use the box of unwanted stats, but due to the party dungeons, the base defense, base accuracy, and monster XP can easily be obtained through spending flurbos acquired from party dungeons, so it basically makes it irrelevant at this point. Next, depending on your class, you want to put 200 boxes in your skilling, such as archers, you want smithing box, warrior, you're going to want the mining box, and mage, you're going to want the chopping box. The nice thing about doing it this way is you'll end up using this boxes in late game as well. Once you've achieved this, you would want to max out your skilling box to 400, and then you can start prioritizing the care pack for mom. About 200, which will get to the 800 boxes spent. Believe it or not, this box is actually really underrated and becomes very powerful late game due to not consuming food. And you might ask the question, what about fishing, alchemy, and catching box? I would say it's not really a prio during early game or late game, so you don't have to worry about it for now because you can obtain full AFK gains and get all the possible catching and fishing you need without prioritizing the box. With alchemy, you can have a kind of a choice later on in the game if you choose to go that path, but to spend those boxes on that specifically is not going to be really a prio. The only difference I would say would be for the maestro and the journeyman, you want to instantly put all your post office boxes into the non-predatory loot box, which gives you drop rarity, luck, and crystal mob spawn. This is gonna be vital to help you get the damage and prioritize maestro's specialty, which is loot drops. So for Maestro, it will go 400 non-predatory loot box and 200 into care package for mom. Now this is where it gets a little bit complicated. Now it's time for late game. You could use Civil War box, but the base damage becomes irrelevant late game, except for the fight AFK games. By this time, you should have three main skillers. So for your skillers, 400 in each of the respectable boxes. And by this time, you should have unlocked the new upgrade box. Death Storage is by far the strongest box you want to invest 400 in by far. It gives weapon power, attack speed, and total damage. This will help you to easily progress through World 3 and soon World 4. Oh, so a huge box to level up would be Ulitarian Capsule. Just trust me on this one. This one gives percent printer sample, percent multi-kill, and percent cash from mobs. This box is going to be a mid-max tool to make your life a breeze late game. Once you have these boxes maxed out, you're pretty much free to tackle what you want because you have the main boxes for progression, and this covers combat, skilling, and 3D prints. So if you, if you choose you want to go into alchemy, or you want to go into construction with your squire, or you want to go into worship with your wizard, it's perfectly possible, or even trapping with your hunter, you can do so. This way, it just gives you sort of a, an ideal route that you want to go before you start branching off to different boxes, so you feel like you're not wasting your boxes. And this way, if you do this setup, it'll make it so you can prioritize spending more money on alchemy, because as we all know, late game alchemy is the true late game so to give you guys a quick recap early game 200 civil war box 400 in your respecting skilling box and 200 for your care pack for mom for maestro it's going to be instantly 400 to non-predatory loot box and 200 for care package for mom for late game you want 400 into your respective world one skilling which is chopping smithing mining you want to max out 400 and death storage and then you want 200 in care package for mom. You can eventually get to 400 care package for mom, but ideally you want to more prioritize Ulitarian capsule to get those 3D prints out because later on, when you start farming rams and blood bones, you're going to eventually need it, but it's nice to have a 400 of this one instead because it's going to take a long time because I've calculated for about 1400 boxes. And although we know how long this is going to take, it will be very rewarding in the end, and you won't feel yourself to constantly have to spend gems to try to respec and get a good idea out of your boxes. 
All right, guys, that's it for me. I wanted to make the videos a little bit quicker, a little bit more snappy, so you guys get the info and get it quick, so you don't have to spend all the time waiting for other things. I hope I was able to shed a little bit of light on Post Office and make a little bit more sense of it and help explain it better, because it is pretty daunting, especially needing gems to reset it. If you liked the video, comment, like, and sub, and hit that bell. It means a lot to me. It definitely lets me know I'm doing a good job. And quick note, huge thanks for the 500 subs. You guys are absolute legends. I super, super appreciate it. And by the way, I also stream on Eidolon, so I'll put the link in the description if you want to come check me out. Tune in next time when we do another Eidolon video. Anyways, I hope everybody had a great holiday, happy grinding, and we'll see you next time. Peace out.